My name is Steve, and this is the Life and Sad Ending channel. Today we have a very special episode, In Memoriam 2023. Randy Meisner of the Eagles died of COPD on July 26, 2023. He was 77 years old. Bob Barker, legendary game show host, died on August 26. He was 99 years old. Mark Margolis, who may be most famous for being on Breaking Bad, died on August 3rd at the age of 83. Sinead O'Connor, Irish singer, died at the age of 56. Her biggest hit record was Nothing Compares to You, written by Prince. Treat Williams died in a motorcycle accident on June 12th at the age of 71. British actress and singer Jane Birkin died on July 16th. She was 76. Minister and broadcaster Pat Robertson died on June 8th. He was 93. Robbie Robertson, famous for being with the band, died at the age of 80 of prostate cancer on August 9th. Bluegrass musician Bobby Osborne died on June 27th. He was 91 years old. Popular actor Alan Arkin died on June 29th. He had heart problems and he was 89. George Maharis, most famous for being on the TV show Route 66, died on May 24th. He was 94. British politician and actor Glenda Jackson died on June 15th. She was 87. Actor and singer Ed Ames died on May 21st. He was 95 years old. Talk show host and politician Jerry Springer died on April 27th. He was only 79 years old. Robert Blake, who went to trial for murdering his wife and being Beretta on TV, died on March 9th at the age of 89. Canadian singer and songwriter Gordon Lightfoot died on May 1st at the age of 84. Actor Lance Reddick died on June 7th. He was famous for appearing on The Wire and Bosch. Len Goodman, who appeared on Dancing with the Stars, died on April 22nd. He was 78 and he suffered from bone cancer. Melinda Dillon, an actress maybe most famous for A Christmas Story or Close Encounters of the Third Kind, died on January 9th. She was 83. Astrud Gilberto was a singer and she died on June 5th at the age of 83. Singer Harry Belafonte died on April 25th. He was 96. Another singer, Tina Turner, died on May 24th at the age of 83 years old. Adam Rich, who was a child star on the TV show Eight is Enough, died on January 7th at the age of 54. Burt Bacharach, one of the greatest songwriters of the 20th century, died on February 8th at the age of 94. Comedian Barry Humphreys died on April 22nd at the age of 89. Julian Sands, who was an actor, died while he was out hiking on January 13th. He was only 65 years old. One of the greatest football players, Jim Brown, died on May 18th at the age of 87. Actress and model Stella Stevens died on February 14th. She was 84. She had suffered from Alzheimer's disease. Tom Sizemore, an actor famous for appearing in Saving Private Ryan, died on March 3rd 
At the age of 61, he suffered a brain aneurysm. Legendary hockey player Bobby Hull died on January 30th at the age of 84. Soap opera actress Jackie Zeman died on May 9th at the age of 70. Richard Belzer, who played John Munch on Homicide Life on the Streets, died on February 19th. He was 78. Carol Cook died on January 11th. She was 98 years old. Musician and songwriter David Crosby died on January 18th. He was 81 years old. He was suffering from complications from the virus. A member of Leonard Skinner, Gary Rossington, died on March 5th at the age of 71. Another musician, Jeff Beck, a famous guitarist, died on January 10th. He was 78. Adam's Family star Lisa Loring, who played Wednesday in the original 1960s series, died on January 28th. She was only 64. Annie Wershing was an actress who died on January 29th. She was only 45 years old. She was seen on many programs, including Bosch and The Rookie. Sportscaster Tim McCarver died on February 16th. He was 81. He died of heart failure. 60s sex symbol Raquel Welch was an American actress and model. She died on February 15th at the age of 82. English actress Sylvia Sims died on January 27th. She was 89. A member of the group Earth, Wind & Fire, Fred White, died on January 1st. He was 67. Evil Knievel's son, Robbie Knievel, who was also a stunt motorcycle rider, died on January 13th at the age of 60. He passed away from pancreatic cancer. Wrestler Terry Funk died on August 23rd. He was 79 years old. Another wrestler, the Iron Sheik, passed away on June 7th. He was 81. A much younger wrestler was Jay Briscoe. He died on January 25th. He was only 39 years old. He died in a car crash. And let's not forget superstar Billy Graham. He died on May 17th at the age of 79. Actor Lance Kerwin died on June 24th at the age of only 62 years old. He was famous for the TV program back in the 70s called James at 15 and later James at 16. Philadelphia disc jockey Jerry Blavitt died on January 20th at the age of 82. He was the geeter with the heater and the big boss with the hot sauce. Jimmy Buffett, musician, singer, songwriter, legend, died on September 1st at the age of 76. Lisa Marie Presley, the only daughter of Elvis Presley and Priscilla Presley, died on January 12th from cardiac arrest. Famous for appearing on Laverne and Shirley, Cindy Williams died on January 25th. She was 75 years old. Paul Rubens had suffered from leukemia and died at the age of 70 on July 30th. He was most famous for portraying Pee Wee Herman. Friends actor and very funny guy, Matthew Perry, died on October 28th. He was only 54 years old. Matthew Perry died in a hot tub due to acute effects of ketamine. He was buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Los Angeles. Famous actor Ryan O'Neill died on December 8th at the age of 82. Actress Suzanne Summers who was most famous for appearing as Chrissy on Three's Company 
and for her Thighmaster commercials, died at the age of 76 on October 15th. She was only 76 years old. She died of breast cancer. Phyllis Coates is an actress who died at the age of 96. She's most famous for appearing on The Adventures of Superman as Lois Lane. She died on October 11th in Los Angeles, California. Burt Young was an actor most famous for playing Paulie in the Rocky movies. He died on October 8th at the age of 83. Norman Lear, screenwriter and producer, lived to be 101 years old. He was most famous for producing the TV shows All in the Family and The Jeffersons. He died on December 5th in Los Angeles, California. Denny Lane, a musician who was part of the Moody Blues and Paul McCartney and Wings, died on December 5th at the age of 79 in Naples, Florida. Bears legend Dick Butkus died on October 5th of a stroke at the age of 80. Actor Andre Brower died on December 11th at the age of 61 from lung cancer. Ralph Sorella, fashion stylist and makeup artist, famous for appearing on The Howard Stern Show, died on December 5th. He was only 58 years old. He had suffered from lymphoma. Sadly, Tommy Smothers, best known as being a part of the Smothers Brothers and the Yo-Yo Man, died on December 26th at the age of 86 from cancer. And finally, we come to Tony Bennett who died at the age of 96 on July 21st in his home in Manhattan. He had suffered from Alzheimer's disease. He won 20 Grammy Awards, sold over 50 million records, served his country in World War II fighting in Europe, and was a Kennedy Center honoree. The list of celebrity deaths this year was somewhat overwhelming. I could not include everyone in this video. If I've left anyone out that you feel strongly should have been in the list, leave it in the comments down below. It is possible I might do a revision of this video. 2023 has really been a rough year. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video, and I'll see you next time. Unless I meet my own sad ending.